on this episode of Ghost Hunters International. The team set sail for Trinidad to explore a quarantined island of the damned. I actually saw a dark figure blocking the doorway, and then it moved. It looked like a human person. At the leper colony on Shaka Shikari, have the spirits of the infected been left behind? I heard that distinctly. That was a woman's voice. Or is it their caretakers who refuse to leave? Guys, I distinctly heard, get out. Get out. Then, GHI returns to Argentina to investigate a meatpacking plant with a murderous past. I saw something dot off from left to right. Are Chris and Barry the next to be slaughtered? What the hell was that? I heard someone say Chris. And uh, welcome to the beautiful islands of Trinidad and Tobago. We have a great case coming up on the island of Shaka Shikari. Susan is going to give us the download and let us know what to expect. Now, the island was first discovered by Christopher Columbus. And the island was used for many different purposes along the years. But most notably, it was a leper colony. Wow, that's rough. Dominican nuns as well as French nuns helped with the colony. Officially in 1984, the leper colony was shut down. We are heading over to a marina right now where we shall be meeting our clients, Leslie and Fernando, who are part of the paranormal research team here in Trinidad. We have to take a boat across over to Shaka Shikari Island. Fernando and Leslie, what uh, what can you tell us about about the island that we're about to go to? Well, there is a lot of act, uh, activity reported on the island. Voices, footsteps, shadow people, apparitions actually have been seen. One that's really been identified by the people of Trinidad is always a story about a nun. It scares a lot of people. Back in the day, a Venezuelan sailor, he and this hunt nun hooked up, and the administrators of the island said, you know, we can't have this relationship happening. The nun is alleged to have committed suicide because she could not be with her love. Oh, wow. Is this the island up in front here? Yes, yeah, it is. Wow. Coming up right there. It's wow. absolutely huge. Welcome to Shaka Shikari Island. All right, if you look over there, that's the administration building for the lepers. Yeah. Um, if you go further uh, towards the back of the flats, you'll actually find that there's a hospital, there's an uh -huh. infirmary where they kept the patients. And that's where we actually um, heard footsteps coming from above us. And we went upstairs to investigate, and there was no one there. Okay, sounds great, Fernando. And um, where to next? Well, we're gonna have to go across the bay into the nun's quarters. This is the nun's chapel. And the legend goes here that when the nun was in distress, she actually hung herself on that archway right across there. Um, and there are a lot of reports of hearing footsteps, shuffles, and cold spots, a lot of cold spots in this area. And also the stories here are that um, the Coast Guards, they were actually held down in their sleep and they woke up very frightened and actually left. These were four big men, well-trained men, and they had high-powered rifles, sitting down in the chapel, back to back, with their rifles at the ready. I said, okay, you look like a, a set of little boys who've seen a ghost. And I said, sir, there's a ghost. I have to ask before we go, What's with the machetes? Um, well, the jungle's taking over, so we need to be able to get you through to the places you need to go. So it's not for us? It's not for you, unless you want it to be. It's no. Kind of no. <laughs> no, 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 no. So where to next? We're going over to the nun's uh, quarters that's in the back. The centipedes are really, really big, and they can pack a punch when they bite. There are also snakes on the island, but they're non-poisonous. This is the nunnery. This house was actually really active. Uh, when we came out on our hunt, this was actually one of the most active buildings we've ever had on any of our hunts. One of our friends who joined us on the investigation, we were walking up some steps just to the back there, and as he was walking up, he said he very clearly felt as if somebody had pushed him right in the small of his back. Uh, also, when Fernando and I were upstairs, Fernando asked a question in an EVP session, and I, at that point in time, heard a very, very clear female voice say, no. We also had uh, some others who were among us uh, reported being overwhelmed with a negative energy, overwhelmed almost to the point of tears. I actually saw a dark shadow. Now, the room was dark, and I was looking outside, so the moonlight is lighting everything outside. So you can see if a figure is blocking the doorway or not. And it was blocking the doorway, and then it moved. It looked like a human person. That 
Skip me. And this is where our ladies rest. All right, well, welcome to the nun's cemetery. There's one story of uh, apparition being seen here in the cemetery. There were two uh, explorers that came on the island and they separated. The one that came here actually experienced uh, an apparition where he saw a woman in white wearing lipstick approaching him. Okay. And they were the only two on the island at the time, mm -hmm. so he took off. And also, they say if you leave the gates open, that's when the spirits seem to meet moving in and out. Logistically, this location is going to be very difficult. Where are we going to place cameras? How far can we place these cameras? Yeah, around there, that's perfect. Such diverse claims. We just really just want to cover as much ground as we possibly can, either with equipment or ourselves. Hey, how's the setup going? We're pretty much uh, ready to go. Essentially, what we have is uh, this dual setup here with the, the uh, full spectrum camera and the uh, thermal. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're looking at here is the archway where this supposed nun hung herself. Mm -hmm. So we're covering it with full spectrum and, and thermal. thermal. Um, and then what we have is the angle in the nun's quarters of the balcony. Um, actually, in addition to the DVR cameras, we do have a locked off camera up at the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that said, Paul and Susan, you take the boat and head to the leper colony. Joe and Scott, you have the nun's quarters, and Chris and I will start in the chapel. Okay? Looking forward to it. So, the chapel, scene of the gruesome suicide. Chris and I investigated the chapel of the nun's area. This is the area where this nun was said to have hung herself from the beam just over the altar. Are you making a little bed out of cases? I am, yes. Some of the claims of activity were of people sleeping over and being forcibly held down. So what I did was to take several of our equipment cases and lay down on it myself and see if any of this phenomenon would happen to me. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Would you like to come and talk to us? We're told that there was a nun who committed suicide here. Is this story true? I just heard something over to the altar. Sounded like someone coming in. I'm hearing footsteps. Chris, I just heard something over to the altar. Sounded like someone coming in. During the investigation, Chris and I were hearing what sounded like someone of a very light foot trying to sneak across the floor, making a very distinct noise. I had my handheld IR camera going. So the first thing I had done was just set my camera up in the direction he was hearing the noises coming from. If you are the woman who committed suicide, if the story is true, please walk towards one of us. If you're unwilling to do that, then we simply ask that you make a noise. Please don't be afraid to come out. We're simply trying to find out the truth. And for that, we need you to come closer to us. The claims here is that the people were walking up one of the stairwells investigating and that they felt a hand on the small of the back. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard movement down there. George Scott, EVP session, nuns' quarters, main area. Hello, is there anybody here? I don't really like this building. Are you in here with us? People have been in here and say that they've been touched. There's a Maybe. set of stairs here. Okay. This might be where they got touched. If you can hear us or see us, could you give us a sign, please? People say that you've touched them. Could you touch one of us? Please talk to us. All we want to do is talk. I'm finding it hard to breathe. It's hard for you breathing here? Yeah, it's getting like my chest is like... You all right? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting the tightness in the chest and 
but it's on my right, so it's not like the left side that I'm having a heart attack. It's just like this side, my right side. I'm curious to know, are you causing my tightness in the chest? Are you trying to scare me? Hello? Please talk to us. Oh. What? Again, I'm getting this tightness in my chest. It's just this corridor. I'm not sure what that was. I don't know if it's uh, something paranormal or if it's just something that, uh, that I happen to be feeling at the moment. It was kind of unsettling. I didn't really didn't like it there. Leslie. Well, Susan. Ivan is going to take us across to the left side of the colony. Hi, Ivan. Hi, how are you? Are you a good driver or what? Of course I am. During the tour, we weren't even able to get to this place. The sea was just too rough. Essentially, we're going into sort of completely uncharted territory. Um, and that's another good reason why we brought Leslie with us. Sounds like a good time. Slow down, slow down. Hit your reverse, hit your reverse. Coming to this pier, um, it was low tide, so that was definitely an adventure in itself. All right, folks, so as I said, just keep uh, checking the side of the trail. That's where we're most likely to run into any of our native centipedes on the island. All right, watch your heads as you come by here. You're going to have to come low. Ah! Oh. Damn it, I just hit by the tool. Susan and I headed for the infirmary, and uh, fortunately, we had Leslie in front of us with a machete, uh, literally hacking away and creating a path for us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have reached the infirmary. The stories we seem to get from here uh, footsteps have been reported, uh, noises, people talking, children playing seems to be quite a common one up on this side of the island. Right. Maybe no. we should uh, conduct an EVP session with yeah. you. Since Leslie had had previous experiences here himself, um, we conducted an EVP session. You have an opportunity to tell us your story. Were you a leper on the island? Were you a patient? Please give us this opportunity to communicate with you. I have your medication, and it's time for your shot. Did you hear that? It's time to take your medication. What if I told you we found a cure for a leprosy? And just think, if you're cured, you can leave the island. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got something. I heard the voice saying, go. Um, it, was, it was a little bit drawn out, but, but not very, very breathy. It was literally a sort of go. Can you please be clearer with your demands? Do you want all of us to leave, or do you just want someone in particular to leave? Uh, guys? What? Yeah? Something just shoved my book bag. As Paul and Leslie were conducting the EVP session, I was sitting there kind of zoning out into, you know, my headphones. There's I was thing. sitting here just now. Yeah. Just, like, listening to you guys, yeah. and all of a sudden, my backpack had shoved like that. Just boom. So you push her and you tell him, get out. What next? What is it? What is it about these foreigners you don't like, huh? Guys. What? I think I just got another get out. What is it about these foreigners you don't like, huh? Guys, I think I just got another get out. Yeah. I distinctly heard another get out. Don't just tell us to get out. Tell us why you want us to get out. Show some manners, man. You're gonna take that from that Englishman telling you have some manners. You manners him. Give us a name of who you want to leave. Paul, Susan, Leslie. <gasps> what is that? I'm seeing shadows, like, coming out of here. They're tall, like, six-foot-tall shadows, and I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable here right now. What was that? Is someone back there? No, we're the only ones in the house. What did you hear? That movement. I actually heard some movement. It was distinctive, it was very obvious. Um, so we immediately took chase. Can you come towards me right now? We are not here to harm you. Were you one of the nuns here that helped run the leper colony? Were you yourself one of the patients here? 
I mean, there's nobody here. So we can rule that out anyway. Whatever is here with us does not want us to be here at all. Chris and Fernando and I were investigating the nun's quarters. The reports here, of course, stem from seeing an apparition and hearing these shuffling, moving around. When I did my investigations here, in this building, we never really got a negative vibe. Yep. It was more of a, a calm, very kind of peaceful um, energy that we were getting. I think the whole idea of somebody saying some sort of prayer in here would make sense. If you get the recorder going, it's just a matter of I don't know any. <laughs> okay. I did not grow up in a church. I, I don't know. I'm in the same boat you're in. Sorry. You requested the Lustigo, Carillo Lusulo, Tara Ravomo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Quel est votre nom, s'il vous plaît? Did you hear that? Yes. I heard, like, it sounded like a male exhale, and it came from this way. Hello? Is there anybody here with us? Please don't be afraid to come out. How many nuns live here? Mademoiselle, we humbly ask that you come forward to us. Can you please talk to us? We did hear this unusual voice uh, coming through. We're not quite sure where it was coming from and was recording, so hopefully we have something to go through to analysis. Chris and I wanted to investigate the cemetery on the island. This is where a lot of the nuns were buried who worked with the lepers. Is there anybody here with us? Any ladies who'd like to speak? Only Vo and Glaze. Are you able to give us a sign that you understand us? I just find it strange that all these graves are quite plain. Somebody who works for the church, the whole idea was simple. Living, simple. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh. What? I heard that distinctly. Who did you hear? That was a woman's voice. During our investigation, it did sound like a woman said something, I have to say. The church, avoid the simple. The church, avoid the simple. Is there anybody here with us? Quelle est votre nom, s'il vous plaît? Are you afraid to speak to us? Please don't be afraid. We'll wrap up here. Okay. I was running an EVP device with real time. I hope that that is carried through and will be brought into analysis. That, we hope, will shed some light onto the mysteries of this island. All right, guys, uh, let's get everything packed up and we'll meet you down at the docks. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Investigating with GHI was one of the most exciting investigations I've ever had. The mystery of the nun is well known among Trinidadians, and if GHI can solve the mystery of what really went on, we'll be happy people. Shaka Shikari Island was amazing. This investigation as a whole is going to be something which I think myself and the rest of the team are going to remember for a very long time. Oh my God, Paul. What? I'm reviewing the RTEVP okay. from the infirmary. Yeah. You guys have to hear this. Not anymore, bruv. Oh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> just want to make that straight. That is awesome. Thanks for meeting us here instead of the island. The seas are really rough today. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hey. Chris. Hey. You know, there were several of us that had personal experiences, mm -hmm. and some of which, you know, back up some of the experiences you guys had had. Yeah. Um, Barry and I were in the chapel, and we heard clear as day footsteps. I want you to have a listen to this. Okay. Tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. I assume you were able to hear them. Yeah, that was great. Chris and I did look around, and we were able to confirm that we were alone in the building. 
so we have no explanation for what could have caused those footsteps. Barry and I were investigating the graveyard, and we did a lot of EVP work, and out of that, we were able to catch something on our audio. We have a hard time making out what it might be, but we still wanted to play it for you guys and see what you thought. Cool. I'm trying to figure out what she's saying. Is there any way just to loop? We'll loop this section here. And that is not Chris. No, the weird part with this, though, is like you can hear me talking in mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Then you hear some sort of voice kind of chime in, which to us sounded female. It's uh, very strange. We were hoping that maybe you may be able to make something out of it. I couldn't make anything out of it, but just hearing it is enough for me to say, wow. Yeah, and yeah, for real. Paul, Susan, and yourself, Leslie, were in the infirmary. Mm -hmm. Some responses were coming through. I want to let you hear them and see what you think. Whoa, 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 we just got something. That was no go. I heard a go. I heard no, but still a go or no. That's that's pretty awesome. Man. This next recording we want to bring you was also taken in the infirmary during your EVP sessions with Paul and Susan. Well, not anymore, bro. Oh no! no, no. Uh, <laughs> just want to make that straight. Wow! Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. So tell me, how do you feel whenever you get to hear these? <laughs> excited because uh, these are the things that we're hearing and things that we're telling people and just to have it come up and as evidence is mm. just amazing to us. Yeah, definitely. I was I was in the room there and I, I wasn't hearing anything at all, you know, so to see that this actually has been captured, mm -hmm. that, that is great. Yeah. That really is good. Chris and I had the opportunity to interview Father Rashad. Uh, Father Rashad had access to church files. One of the things he did mention was that there was an American nun who stayed on the island. She was on her way to Guyana, and she did not want to go. One morning, they did find her in the water. She had passed. Ooh. They don't know if she threw herself off the cliff and died. They don't know if she slipped and fell in and passed away. Um, but it does definitely confirm a nun dying there. The base truth of the, of the legacy. Exactly. Okay. So with this being documented, I, I presume we can identify who this lady is then? Sister Mary Luigi. Sister Mary Luigi. Wow. Yeah. We do feel that the island is supporting evidence of paranormal activity. Unfortunately, because of no photographic or video evidence, we can't say that it's haunted. With what we did catch, you guys know, spend more time in, in the infirmary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to work on that. Well, thank you very Indeed. much. Okay. Thank Likewise. you, Mary. Take care. Take care. Plus. Thank you. Well, now that GHI showed me what they found, I'm very, very excited. And that, to me, was a vindication of what's going on in that island and just makes me want to go out there and start working immediately. I think the fact of the EVPs from the leper side of the colony, I think it just goes to verify that there is activity all over the island. Chris, I was very, very happy the way that, that that reveal went. We were able to leave the guys with something that they can truly build with. It's nice to be able to work with other groups, um, especially ones who know the area. I enjoyed the boats, though. I did enjoy the boats. I am very surprised Paul didn't fall in. I'm surprised Paul didn't go for a swim. <laughs> Okay, guys and girls, welcome to Argentina. Paul and Joe and myself, of course, have been here before. And I have to say, it was a very, very great country to be in. Susie's just going to give us the download, and we shall see what we're going to be going up against. Well, team, we're heading over to Figurifico Wallawachu, which is actually a slaughterhouse here in the city of Wallawachu, Argentina. It was originally built in 1920s and was one of the largest processors and exporters of meat in the country, as well as throughout World War II until about 15 years ago. It's not being used? It's completely abandoned. The slaughterhouse is huge, and it processed as many as 7,000 cows a week. Wow. That is a lot of meat. What kind of claims do they have? Apparitions throughout the slaughterhouse. People are reporting screams, mumbling, and conversation, as well as the residual sounds of a slaughterhouse still in operation. Now, we're going to meet up with our client, Ruben Fernandez, and he is a security worker at the plant. He called GHI in to investigate the claims that he's been hearing from others, as well as to validate his own personal experiences at the slaughterhouse. <laughs> he's going to be accompanied by Maria. She's going to be translating for Ruben um, and all of his accounts on the tour for us today. Well, folks, if you look out through the left-hand side of the cars, you will see the slaughterhouse coming up. It looks like the scene from a horror movie, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. wow, look at that. Ooh. That place is huge. Oh, wow. Hmm. 
Robin. Hola. Good to see you. Good to see you. Bienvenido a Argentina. Acá estamos en el frigorífico Gualeguayú. Welcome to Argentina and to the meat packing factory. I came here today to translate what Ruben says. I have known this place uh, for a long time and many uh, stories have been heard about it being haunted. We're led to believe that there was some unusual paranormal activity that has been happening since the building was closed. Can you give us a, a brief explanation of what these were? Sí, se han escuchado, por ejemplo, voces. They o sea. heard noises and voices and strange uh, images and shadows. Would it be possible that we could see these areas? Sí, sí. Please. Okay. Adelante. Que era necesario, no sé. I call THI because I think that there are some ghosts here or some kind of paranormal activities and I hope they can find what we've seen here many times. This is the elevator the workers took in our break and they see a shadow dressed in white like standing where you are. Do you know of any accidents that revolved around the elevator? Sí, 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 sí. No se da cuenta que el ascensor estaba... A man was working and was checking down and he didn't realize that uh, the elevator was coming down. Un día miró así, llegó acá. Yeah, it cut his head. So this is the slaughter room. Uh, there was a fight. In esa época... Many years ago when I worked here, there was a young man working. He got into a fight with his supervisor one day and he ended up stabbing him several times. Now you can hear the sounds of screaming and chains coming from the dead. This was the room in which female workers, they would take their break. Here in this floor, some voices and women mur murmuring. No, the, the murmuring, the woman's murmuring, is that heard during the day and also at night? Most of the times had been at night. Mm -hmm. There were 33 cold chambers, so this is one of them. A woman came with, he, with her daughter, mm -hmm. and they decided to take some pictures. My experience was very weird. I came here to take photos, but there were odd shadows everywhere. And when I looked at my photos, there were balls of light. I felt a presence around when I took them. It was very scary and chilling down there. How is the equipment setup going? Just finished. I think a thing we do need to keep in mind is that this place has a ton of bats. There's obviously some other wildlife in here. So if you hear anything, please get up and check anyways. Just because I know that's that's something I think all of us would be guilty of doing, just kind of writing it off rather than looking into it. Right. Let's get going. Okay, so we got thermal and IR. And... The 360 is running on four channel. Uh-huh. This is the center of the slaughterhouse. Barry and I decided to do a thermal and IR sweep of Wallawachu, and we started in the main building. Please, don't be afraid to come out. We're not here to hurt you. If there is a spirit in here, can you show us where you are? No, oh, that's us reflecting. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay. You seeing anything right there? Nothing yet. Watch What's your head. head. <gasps> oh, oh. What? I thought I heard someone say Chris. I would like to approach any entity in this building. If there's somebody down here, please come close to us. Did you just touch me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that? Okay. Let's go. Okay. I heard of Chris. So, the 360 was running at the time. I'm sure we have it. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see what has transpired during analysis. Okay, this is Susan and Paul. We're investigating the social room. Paul and I headed to the social area, also known as the salon, to investigate the claims of people hearing what sounds like women chattering or people in conversation. Me llamo es Susan. Mi amigo es Pablo. Come to llamas. I heard the ladies in this establishment usually hang out here. Was this a place that you enjoyed hanging out at? The hell was that? It sounds like there's women talking over there, right behind us.
I could hear the pigeons. Oh my god. There is just pigeons everywhere. It sounds like there's a female talking. We were, in fact, hearing what sounded like women chatter, but it was, in fact, the pigeons. Several different tones going off at once, stomping around on the ceiling above us. It did, in fact, sound like an active uh, social area. OK. This is the uh, entrance to the downstairs cold chamber. Oh, I had to do it my camera with me, so... Oh, yeah, camera? Cool. Yeah. I got the laser grid. Cool. So we can set that up and see what happens. Sweet. All right. Yep. Scott and I were investigating the downstairs cold chamber. We were following up on the reports of people seeing shadow figures and uh, taking photographs and seeing ghostly images in it. EVP session, Joe and Scott, lower cold chamber. Hello, is there anybody in here? If you see the red dots in front of you, sir, or whoever you may be, could you walk in front of the laser, please? The red dots on the wall. Please come speak with us. So you know you're dead. Did you cough? Oh. Huh? I thought I heard like a, a cough. From down there? I don't know where it was coming from. I just kind of heard what sounded like. Whoa. Will you move your flashlight again back and forth? I just got the wicked chills, and I could have swore I saw something dot out from left to right. <laughs> Did you cough? Oh. I thought I heard like a, a cough. From down there? Scott and I were investigating the uh, downstairs cold chamber here at Frigorifico meatpacking plant. We were hearing bits of sounds. At one point, uh, I thought I heard a voice. Whoa. Will you move your flashlight again back and forth? I just got the wicked chills, and I could have swore I saw something dot out from left to right. I saw that, too. I thought it was a dog. Wow, my whole body's like chills. You want to go see that real quick? Yeah. Hello? That's a dead end, so even if it was a dog... This is a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. There's no... Yeah. It's exit way out. When Scott was moving his light, we thought we saw a figure. We immediately gave chase, and uh, where we thought it ended up was a dead end area. There was no way to get out. So we'll have to be very careful during analysis so that we could see what we saw, if at all, it was caught on our equipment. All right, let's head on out. Mari, thank you for your time. This is where they actually slaughtered them. This is probably where they drain all the blood. Yep. Paul and I went to investigate the slaughter lot. It's pretty much the main area where the cows were herded into, gutted, and processed. Look at all these meat hooks. Yeah, the meat hooks. Other than cows being killed here, four people actually lost their lives here as well. And there's theories out there that such traumatic events, whether they be accidental or, or on purpose, um, can in fact induce paranormal activity. Is there anybody here? Is there an ex-worker here with us right now? Somebody who maybe have died here. Was it an accident? Were you murdered? Did that... Did you hear that shuffling noise? Yeah, I did. That sound like footsteps. It did. Estás aquí? There was a shuffling sound, and there did appear to be two distinct footsteps. If there's somebody in here, somebody who wishes to communicate with us, someone who worked here, could you make a sound for us? Make a noise. Damn, I'm not seeing anything. Let's wrap up here. Okay. Ending EVP session, Paul and Susan, the slaughter lot. and get ready to go. We just finished our extensive investigation at Frigorifico Wallawachu. We have covered this place from head to toe, looking for the spirits that were said to remain here. And um, there were some unusual personal experiences, of course, and we want to see if any of those experiences have followed through into the data collection, and we won't know that until we get to analysis.
Okay, guys, right now I'm reviewing audio of Chris and Barry. They're doing a thermal sweep and they're in the slaughter lot. Barry reacts to the sound. Now you could hear the sound. Mm -hmm. You guys wanna take a listen? Tell yeah, me what you think it is. Watch your head. <sighs> oh, oh. What? I thought I heard someone say Chris. It sounded like they were gasping a little bit. I was like... gonna say, it sounded like breathing to me. It sounded like Chris breathing or something. It's one of those that are just so faint. As far as anything paranormal, there's nothing there. Not really. No, unfortunately. I've got a great piece of audio. This is Scott and I. We're in the downstairs cold chamber. I've got something really clear. You gotta hear that. Okay. Are you telling me that we're here? And that you're trying to... Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you hear that? Ruben, it's good to see you again. Hola. Hola. Maria, Hola. it's very good to see you. Hola. Ruben had told us about a series of photographs taken by, by another person. Okay. And we wanted to show him some of these photographs okay. to, to let him see and understand what we tend to see in these photographs. Okay. Now, this is one of the photographs taken from the client. As you can see, the different areas where these balls of light appear. This is another photograph taken by one of our investigators. Mm -hmm. And you can see another ball of light that appears. These simply are just known as dust orbs. Yeah, a lot of it is just dirt or dust particles, water particles in the air, and when the flash goes off, these little particles will reflect the light. Mm -hmm. So that's what's being picked up in the pictures. Okay. This recording was taken in the women's salon. This mm -hmm. is the place where reports of hearing conversation. Mm -hmm. So Paul placed a recorder there, and this is, of course, what we captured. What's this here? Should look at that. Uh, it's surprising, like, at the very last turn, the, the scream. It's like a baby's crying or something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of the sound coming into that room, we believe to be pigeons inside the uh, suspended ceiling. As they were settling down to roost, the pigeons were making screams of like a child or, or people murmuring. Again, that was the, the, the animals. Joe and Scott ended up heading into the cold chamber, and while they were down there, they were doing some EVP work. Mm -hmm. We have a sample of a recording that was taken mm -hmm. in which someone speaks to Joe and Scott. Are you telling me that you're here? And that you're trying to get a comprehension of your death? Now, is Ruben able to make out what that's saying? No, 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 no. But I get the way he hear He hears something, but uh, he doesn't know what to say. We feel that this response is saying, it's my job. And that you're trying to a comprehension of your death. Now we'll oh. just run it one more time. Okay. A comprehension of your death. <laughs> Both of you were were you able to hear that? Yes. We didn't find um, anything supporting the claims of a haunting. Mm -hmm. We were able to see in part of the, the complex that there were signs of some paranormal phenomenon. But uh, we certainly hope that our investigation has shed some light onto the stories that have been told here at the slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. It's been a great pleasure. Okay. Well, I'm glad we called them. Feel relief uh, that they could find something that can support what we hear. And I wish them luck. Well, Chris, that was a good case. And of course, it was our first slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And everyone else seemed to enjoy it as well. We come up with some answers. But uh, I just wonder what Susan has planned for us next.